Hey, we're getting ready to grill two ribeye steaks. Gonna put a little salt on them, put a little pepper on them, on each side. And then we'll go out to the Weber kettle. We're gonna sear them on each side, and then we'll finish them up on indirect heat. And we'll put a little olive oil on the grill. Now we're gonna sear these over direct heat. And then we're gonna put a meat stick in one of them. And then we're gonna uh, program it to a medium well. Now I like to turn the steaks uh, on the same side, just turn them a bit. To me, it seems like it uh, helps it cook more even. Now about another 30 to 45 seconds there and then we're gonna turn them over. And I believe these are looking pretty good. Now we're going for a medium to a medium well. Hey, these are gonna be good. Little twist here on these. Now I think it's time to put in the meat stick. And we're gonna set up the cook, get it all ready, and then make a few minor adjustments. We're gonna go medium on this. That gives us our temperature and all. It's creating a cook. Now it's telling us we can insert the probe into the steak. Okay, let me turn this here a little bit so I can handle it. Put the probe in, and by golly, I think we're ready to go there. We're going to set it in direct heat now. Now, I believe this is reading about 130 internal, which that's going to be good for a lot of you rare steak people. But we're going to cook it a little bit longer for us and go for a medium steak. Well, we've reached 138 degrees, and we're going for a target of 148. And we'll have an early warning here in a little bit. I believe it's going to up 140 is early warning right there. So we hit that. It says it's getting close, and we're looking good both the meat stick ambient and the kettle temperature are reading close to the same. Oh, 146, we're getting close. And it's gonna give us a, hey, there it is, looky there. It's telling us time to get our fork and knife out. It's ready. Now I guarantee you one thing, that alarm will get your attention. Now those look tender and juicy. They look fantastic. Well now, all we have left to do is take this in the house. But first, we're gonna have to make sure our air is shut off to the kettle to snuff out them coals. And we'll be able to use any coals that's left in the next cook. Now these steaks turned out perfect. A very light pink area, which is a medium. Hey, and they're juicy and tender. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you like one of those other videos that popped up on the screen, 
click on it and I'll meet you there.